everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with Paper Rose, and today we are going to pull out those colored pencils and have some fun with this adorable small image called Floral Frame Number 4. Um, that piece measures, it's like a, a 2 by 3 inch um, image, which I think is perfect if you're just starting out with any coloring medium such as watercolors, colored pencils, alcohol markers. It's just a nice small image. It's not too overwhelming uh, for you to have lots of practice. Did not show this. I forgot to show the stamping. I did stamp the image in a Positively Ink called Cozy um, just to have that light shade for the image. And then I did use my Altenew Obsidian Ink to stamp my sentiment. This panel is cut to three and three quarters by five. Um, so it's a little bit smaller. Um, no, three and a half by four and three quarters, so I apologize. And now I'm just going to simply color the image. I'm going to use some war grays for the frame itself, and then some vibrant pinks and greens for the floral. So sit back, enjoy and I'll see you on the other side.
Now that our image is all covered, we are going to put this on a couple mats. I chose a dark pink and a green that match the colors that I used, and then finally a black uh, to mat this piece. I'm going to add a few gems to the center of the one flower and then two sets of three coming off of each corner of that frame. Of course I do this before I put it on my maps so that's always fun. I am using my wax pencil. I get asked a lot about that. Um, I love using the wax pencil. Uh, found mine on Amazon. They're actually used in the nail industry um, and they're all over. So all you have to do is just do that search. Once I have the gems placed, we will then start creating our mats. Now, two of the mats are going to be very close coming off of that panel. So when they're cut, I'm cutting them to be like an eighth of an inch off of the size of the cardstock. Now, again, I also am one where I take my panel and I'll line it up with the cardstock and cut around it. And that's, I'll say, unfortunately, what I did um, when it came to these panels. I just don't like to measure and pull that out and it's just, I save time this way. So I do know that this panel here is three and a half um, by five. And then the final black panel is four by five and a quarter. And there is our card. Very clean, very simple. Um, but this, these would be great. There's a whole set of these that would make great no card sets if you're looking for the upcoming holidays, a gift. The products that I used will be listed down below in the video description. I hope you enjoyed today's project. As always, remember, enjoy the art that you create. Um, and if you have any questions, leave those down below. I'd love for you to subscribe, hit that thumbs up. Most of all, ring the bell. Hopefully you'll be notified. You never know. Um, but have fun in your crafty space today, no matter where you are. And remember what's most important always be creative guys and I will talk to you in the next one till then